Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh and I would really really be happy if you visit my homepage, access the learn from Hitesh section and please if you are interested in purchasing any other course, please purchase it directly or drop me an email if you are interested in really really interested in learning the things and want to have access to my course. So this is I think the 26th video that I'm creating for SQL injection and I hope I was successfully able to give you the inside details what are being behind the SQL injection. So as a developer you can get rid of those problems and as a pen tester you can utilize those problems to make sure that your client is actually safe from these kinds of attacks. But really there is no end of SQL injection because uh, to be honest it is just an SQL query that how much you can think you can amend it but really we have to go a very long after this video too. So definitely this is series is going to be as comprehensive as in nature as I can build it up. And so let's see what we have got in this video and particularly this video is moreover for your practice as compared to me but definitely I couldn't stop myself from uh, getting you to the few inside steps be before letting you to be at your own. So let's try to have that and let's move on to our SQL injection machine. So we have again got a lesson 11.zip file for you, a new lesson, a new challenge for you. So let me first of all zoom it a bit so it's become easier to understand the things. First of all I'll start the services as this machine is being newly started now. Service Apache to start and please also start one more thing that is you know it start MySQL okay you can also do you can move to uh, move the slash root desktop lesson file to slash war www and master once you move that file let me also travel to slash war www and master and if I do a ls I can see that uh, where is it here it is oops it's not here it is let's enable I don't know why every time I am not able to see these kinds of things on my screen perhaps I need a larger laptop I uh, really don't know about that most of the time these files are really getting uh, away from my eyes so what we can do here is simply let's unzip the content of lesson 11 this time okay so everything is out there now I can start my Firefox let's start it on a background process so that in case if I need the terminal it's uh, being available for me so what I can do here is I can simply start the local host and instead of this I can start the lesson number 11 now here is the image is being changed but if you see uh, the lesson number 10 it is quite same apart from this ninja man so at this place we have got ninja and on other there is a man who is trying to uh, push the button okay so what you have to do in this lesson just what we have discussed in the previous chapter it is almost the same but you have to understand how to break the query and how to do inside I will just give us some hints or some tries on this lesson maybe I might be successful or maybe not so let's try with a single quote uh, this uh, downside arrow is just for you can say dislike or you are not working with right things okay let's try to hit double quotes okay so we have got double quotes here but if I do a double quote and hyphen hyphen plus it's not working double quotes and let's say hash it's also not working up till and let you are getting this uh, downside it's not working actually so what you can do let us put a backslash here and in the error you find that there is a double quote and a bracket so let's try double quote and a bracket and let me push a hash okay so it's not working again so let's try double quotes bracket hash oops double quote bracket and hash and same thing add the password as well okay so this time no error I was successfully able although I was not able to got break in into the website but I was able to successfully break the query and successfully make the error and break the query and fill it up so 
my le my point is out here my point is out here is i will not be proceeding after this step because this lesson is absolutely for your practice and i am quite sure that almost 99% of you who are watching till now with this series will be able to crack into this lesson if you are not you need to go back and see again lots of videos and with more concentration although still you find any problem there is always always support from my side but still that's only for this video and in the next video we are going to learn some more new commands that will help you to crack out some more lessons so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to drop me a email